Now, a few months ago, we met Mum Judith Sibley uh, on this programme. She told us the inspirational story of her little daughter, Lily May, who was recently diagnosed with a rare neuroblastoma, but who is a very brave and special little girl. She loves dancing. I think she gets that from her dad. And, and uh, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> and dinosaurs, particularly. And she's getting the, uh, the princess treatment on Ireland AM today because it is a very special day. It is indeed. And Ireland AM has teamed up with Lily May's family and friends and some very well-known and very talented singers to make a song for Lily May called Tiny Dancer. And we want you at home, we want our Ireland AM viewers to help us make it this year's Christmas number one. And we are joined now by Lily May and her mum and dad, Judith Silby and Leighton Morrison. Good morning, ladies and gents. Hi. I have to say hello to the princess, first of all. Lily May, hi. She's desperate to see herself on telly. Can you see yourself on the telly? There do you a are. Wave, Lily May. Do a wave, wave, do a wave. Keep waving your wave back at yourself. You say there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see you, Lily May. A welcome here. And Judith, welcome back hi, again. Yes. And Leighton, nice to see you for the first time because we met Paul, Lily May's uncle, the last you time. You did, yeah. And he, well, it was actually Paul was the one who set up the Sunny May Trust, Judith. Yeah. yeah. Paul set up the Sunny May Trust back in June. We're doing very, very well. It's past 100,000. Well, just remind us, actually, for people who might not have seen you the last time you were here, what Lily May is going through and why the trust was set up. Lily May has something called neuroblastoma, which is a tumour. We have to go to hospital a lot, don't we, honey? How is it? Mm, you don't it's like not hospital. great, is it? Oh. It's not great. And we go there all the time. And it's not ideal, but Lily May is super brave, aren't you? She's yeah. the bravest girl in the world and she never complains and she never whinges and our tumour is getting much better, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, neuroblastoma is very rare. Um, about six to eight children get it in Ireland a year. One in a hundred thousand people get it. Um, yes, darling? You're on, yeah, tel you're you're on, on telly, telly. mummy. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's you. <laughs> um, we have to raise a lot of money and people don't sometimes understand why. Obviously we're being treated in Crumlin, but there's a 70% chance of relapse and the only treatment then is abroad. Mm. 